Hi, my name is Anna Nutter and I'm a CD designer and creative explorer. In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you my process, how I create my artworks, and I will show you a few tips on how you can find the coolest sets in the Creative Cloud. As a creative exercise for the CD project, we are going to stay inside of the Creative Cloud because there is plenty to discover. I'm a passionate stager user and I hope you will learn more about how you can use it to create unique CD art from my tutorial. I'm going to talk about where I collect my assets, then we will move on to uh, texture creation in Soft and 3D Sampler, um, texturing with our new material and painter, then lighting and rendering in stager. At the end, I'm going to share with you my post-processing techniques in Photoshop. There is a bonus, which is uh, model creation is in Adobe Illustrator, which was uh, like a life hack for me. Let's get started. Creating anything in 3D requires a variety of assets and it's always a challenge to make or buy the suitable assets for 3D artists for their different purposes. I've been using multiple resources in the past years, but for me, two of them stand out the most. One is Soft and 3D assets and the other one is Adobe Stock. Uh, so why I like uh, Soft and 3D assets? It's because you can find all kinds of assets created by 3D professionals, customizable models, HDRI lights and, uh, and materials. I love these fully parametric materials because you can change the color and details of each material and they are very flexible to work with. What I like about the most about the CD models is that uh, they already come with the perfect UV map that makes texturing a breeze. So UV mapping is part of the CD modeling process. It means projecting a 2D image onto a CD model surface. When you work in CD, it's essential to have good UVs to be able to texture a model nicely. So you won't have these issues um, with, with the Substance 3D asset models. You can also find interesting assets on the community assets page as well. My other favorite is Adobe Stock. Um, I use a lot of models from Adobe Stock and um, they offer thousands of CD models, materials, lights, and uh, they are all optimized for Substance 3D Stager. I really like that most of the models are textured already and I can just drag and drop them into my scene for further customization. You can download the OBJ file and the textures in a folder or you can save it to your CC libraries and uh, work with them from there. In this video series, I'm going to show you how I use them and how you can work with uh, different elements.